Strawberry. Huh? Hi. You're here early, Blueberry. Where's Huck? We're supposed to go to the post office together. Still waiting for a letter from Berry Bitty Mysteries magazine? I really hope they want to buy Hux in my mystery story. I was sure it would come two days ago. <gasps> but it didn't. <laughs> then I was sure it would come yesterday. But it didn't. So I'm positive it will come today. In fact, I believe I'll go down to the post office now. I just can't wait here any longer. It's too exciting! Come on, Scouty! <laughs> Yoo-hoo! Anybody here? Oh! Blueberry! <laughs> you startled me. I was looking for my special delivery stamp. Oh, what can I do for you? Did a letter come for me, J.D. Bug? Blueberry, blueberry. <laughs> Silly me, I forgot. There was a letter for you. Was? It's on the way to your bookstore. Special delivery. On its way to... You're delivering it to... Come on, Scouty! <laughs> Excuse me. Wait! Come back! Uh, wait! Don't you have a letter for... Special delivery? <laughs> what is it, Scouty? We have to catch that postal bee. Oh, the letter's been delivered. Thank you, Scouty. You knew where it was all along. It's from Berry Bitty Mysteries magazine. This is it, Scouty. Cross your fingers. I mean, toast. We regret to inform you that your mystery story is... Not, Not what Berry Bitty Mysteries Magazine, Magazine is looking for at this time. Oh. oh, Blueberry, I am so, so sorry. The worst thing is that Huckleberry was counting on the help it would bring his home for homeless dogs. He so needed to sell that story. What a show-off. <gasps> Pupcake hmm? just gave me an idea. How to raise funds for Huckleberry's dog shelter. He did? We'll hold a dog show. We'll invite folks from Berry Bitty Dale and Acorn Acres and all the neighboring towns. It could be a big hit, don't you think? Yeah! Want to be in a dog show, Scouty? <laughs> but what do you show? In a dog show. Oh, it's easy. All you do is walk the dogs around on leashes for all to admire. And would fashions be allowed? Well, sure, I guess. Why not? I mean, I'm not saying, you know, everyone has to have them. Just wondering if I could... I mean, you all know Chiffon never goes anywhere not dressed for the occasion. <laughs> of course. Anyone who wants to can have fashions, or not. They'll be optional. Excellent. Oh, Chiffon, want to be in a dog show? <laughs> but a dog show must need doggy hairstyles, right? Sure, but only if you want. It's optional. I mean, grooming is nice, but not all dogs are hairstyle dogs. Well, of course. I wouldn't want to force a hairstyle on anyone it wouldn't work for. Hannah, this is gonna be a sensation! You'll look like a star! <gasps> Just walk them in a circle? Certainly we can do better than that. What do you have in mind? Just, you know, train them to do some special moves. Well, I guess it could be an optional thing, but that would look rather disorganized. I mean, if we're gonna have a really fabulous show, we should definitely have all the dogs doing more than just walking. Hmm. Hmm? Just some simple moves. Nothing too complicated. Simple moves? Oh, um... Okay, fine with me. Marmalade. We can come up with a little doggy dance step, can't we? Um. Oh, Huckleberry. I'm sorry about our story. It's my fault. You wanted to write it in a more original way, and I pushed to make it like a Patty Persimmon mystery. 
Don't worry. We'll submit our new mystery soon as we settle on an idea. That's the spirit. We can work on it as soon as we finish training. Training? For what? Strawberry decided we're going to have a big dog show to raise funds for your home for pets. Blueberry, that's fantastic. Wow, you girls are terrific. What do you think of that, Tom Tom? <laughs> Another rejected idea? Oh, so sorry, Bosley. I didn't see you there. I need a brainstorm. I'm all out of mystery ideas. Wait, I got it. The mystery of the disappearing mystery ideas. <laughs> <laughs> if you would welcome a suggestion, I've always liked the advice, write what you know. Not a bad idea. But is there anything mysterious going on in our quiet, normal lives? How about the mystery of where in the world did the floor go? <laughs> okay, write what we know. Oh, I know this spot where my pet mobile got stuck. Not sure if there's anything mysterious about that, though. <laughs> it was for the barricades, remember? That's right. They thought my seven dogs were a monster with seven noses. Hey, that would work. I've got it. A monster is terrorizing the berry patch. It has seven noses. And it slobbers all over. At night, it creeps into Berry Bitty City looking for victims. Stealth Sleuth, Stan and Stacy. <laughs> I mean, Dan and Stacy. <laughs> Stan and Scathy, the stealth sloops. I mean, stealth sloops. Uh, never mind. Too much of a tongue twister. Gus and Betty? Kaylee and Kyle. On the case. That's it! Kaylee and Kyle on the mystery of the slobbering snuffler. I like it! supposed to be practicing for the show. <laughs> it's not playtime. This is very serious. <laughs> now let go. <laughs> you silly. Come back with that. Storytime, Blueberry. Oh, what are you reading today? A very big vacation. Yay! Yay! <laughs> I'll let you get back to it. I'm sorry you missed story time. Blueberry led us a very big vacation. I'll tell you the story. And so Strawberry and her friends decided to go on a very big vacation. So everyone in Berry Berry City packed and left. It was real dark in the berry patch. But Kaylee and Kyle were on the case. They were going to get to the bottom of this monster mystery. When out of the bushes 
came a horrible sound. <gasps> Just like the legend warned. First, you hear the noise. Then you feel the heat of the rancid breath of seven noses. Then... The slobbering of seven tongues. <gasps> no! Its teeth were long and glistened in the moonlight. Beady eyes and 14 flaring nostrils. There is no escape from this monster in the berry patch. M -m monster in the berry patch? Why did we ever decide to visit Berry Bitty City? I thought you said it was peaceful here. Welcome to Berry Bitty City and the Marketplace Cafe. Would you like a table? No thanks. Lost our appetite. Huh? Can't get out of here fast enough. Do you know they have a monster in Berry Bitty City? It has seven noses and seven teeth and long tongues that glisten in the moonlight. I heard that the whole town is packing up and evacuating. My word, it's worse than we thought. Better steer clear of Berry Bitty City. That's it. You've got it. Looking good, Marmalade. Oh, hi, Huck. Hi, Blueberry. What you got there? We're mailing our new mystery story to Berry Bitty Mysteries magazine. Good for you. Good luck. Thanks. <gasps> oh! Uh, J.D. Bug, did you ever find your special delivery stamp? It's a mystery. It has completely disappeared. <clears throat> Pardon me, but, uh, is this it? It is! Where was it? Uh... Around. Uh, J.D. Bug, we have a package that needs that stamp. Oh! Berry Bitty Mysteries Magazine! <laughs> Chin up, let's strap our stuff. <laughs> that sweater is so style, so chicish. Oh, so you. <laughs> Okay, Scouty, let's see what you can do. Good boy. That's it. Now, how to get you to do the same thing without using the doggy biscuits? Hmm, a mystery indeed. Whoa, where are you going? Wait, slow down! Ouch! Where are you going? Whoa! Help! Whoa. Wait, I think if I go under, I mean, if you go over... Ouch! Hold on, Scouty! Stop pulling! Sorry, excuse me! What's going yeah. on? Oh, hi, Huck. Take a look at your competition. <laughs> wow. Plum and Pitter Patch are really advanced. I thought we'd just walk in a circle. We'll just have to practice harder. That's all there is to it. Hmm. Okay. Uh, one, two, three. And hop, hop, hop. <gasps> Fantastic! Now, the rollover. That's it. That's not a rollover. I don't know what that is. <laughs> Come on, Chiffon. You can do it. Huh? Oh, no. You're scared. Oh, poor Chiffon. This just isn't going to work. Okay, here we go, Cinepop. Forget the walking in a circle plan. We've got a new strategy. You begin here and jump over this one, and then keep going over the next jump, and it's fun, see? Okay, showtime. Step lively. Hey! <laughs> I 
said show time, not dig time. This will not win any ribbons. Cherry! What happened to you? Where's Cinepuff? At Lemons, having a bath. Turns out she's more interested in digging than show jumping. Show jumping? Who said anything about show jumping? Ah, uh, you'll see. At show rehearsal this afternoon. Our first rehearsal! Wow, nobody looks very excited. <sighs> For our next story, how about the mystery of who stole the fun out of the dog show? Shall I go first? Why not? Um, aren't you supposed to have a leash? Pitter Patch doesn't need one. He's so well trained. Waterworks? Who decided that? Hey, what's going on? <laughs> that tickles. <laughs> hey, what's the big idea? Oh, I'll get you guys. <laughs> Ladies, I don't know how I'm gonna fix your hair. Such behavior. Rehearsal is not playtime. So embarrassing. And I bragged how Pitter Patch didn't need a leash. What a fool I made of myself. <laughs> Come on, admit it. We all had a very fun time. It was a great mud fight. I guess I forgot it was supposed to be a dog show and not a plum show. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I think it's time to let dogs be dogs and plum be plum. Plum be plum. I, I mean, me be plum. I mean, plum be me. I mean, what do you mean? I was thinking, let's have an opening dance number in the dog show and you solo in it. After all, you are the star dancer. Really? I could be the star? And so the rest of us could just walk in a circle? Exactly. And how about we lose the water sprays? Oh, that's a very good idea, Strawberry. Great job! The dog show is going to be a smashing success. Look, Strawberry, huh? I made these fabulous, fantastic, chic hats. The dogs are supposed to keep those on during the show? <laughs> no, they're for us. Oh, for us! That's very nice, Raspberry. Girls! Oh, this is terrible! What's going on, Orange? I haven't sold one ticket. What? I don't think one person from out of town is coming to our show. We sent out flyers, didn't we? We did. I gave them to Jittybug. Well, what about everyone from town? Oh, my. When Blueberry gave me all those flyers and asked me to mail them to everyone out of town, I... I... Oh, my. I forgot to mail them to everyone in town. So, no one, no one in Fairy Pity City but we, us, knows there's even a... I mean, nobody even knows there's a dog show? Do you think we have time to sell tickets to everyone in Fairy Pity City? Not if all the Berrykins already left for the Berry Big <gasps> Berrykin picnic. <laughs> Well, did they? Did they? What? Did the Berrykins all go on a picnic? They did. Oh. Well, we can't have a dog show with no one to, you know, show to. What will we tell Huckleberry? The show was supposed to raise funds for his home for homeless pets. <sighs> um, I can't imagine what happened. Not one ticket sold. Neither can I. It's a... Mystery! <laughs> Sorry. Uh, hello? Yes, this is Blueberry speaking. What? Mr. Toad Simmons? You're the editor of Berry Pity Mysteries? Uh, that's great! Really? As I said, I'm thrilled with the fresh and new voice of this mystery. And such a clever setting. A dog show. However did you come up with it? So inspired. I love it. You do? 
I have to say, that first submission of yours, well, it reminded me of a Patty Persimmon mystery. And I've so been there, read that. Uh, so I'm over the moon to find something so original. We'll publish it next month. Well, that is, if you are still willing to sell it. Yes! Yeah! I can't believe we did it! We Great did it job, together, Huck! Uh, <laughs> Look at that! Bravo, Your star! <laughs> Didn't you like Plum's dance? You look so serious. I just got a brainstorm. Kaylee and Kyle and the ballet slipper thief. No! I can't go on. My ballet slipper, it's been stolen. Help me. Don't worry, ma'am. Swan Lake will not be your swan song. Kyle and Kaylee are on the case. before the cafe opens. Hmm, guess it's a good morning to clean out the fridge. Oh, that's right. I cleaned it yesterday. <laughs> hmm, clean the oven. Oh, forgot. <laughs> cleaned it the day before. Looks like I'm all out of things to do. Hey, Pupcake. Think we should go strawberry shopping? <laughs> I'll take that as a yes. <laughs> <laughs> hey, come back! Pupcake, come back here! Good morning, Strawberry! Good morning, Plum! Good morning, Strawberry! Good morning, Blueberry! Good morning, Strawberry! Hi, Raspberry! What's that fragrance? Oh, my new lemon hair scent. Like it? Oh, delicious. Great! I have a new strawberry scented shampoo that'd be perfect for you. Stop by later, I'll give you some. Thank you. <laughs> Morning, Orange. Morning, Strawberry. Where are you off to? Soon as I can catch Pupcake to Berry Glen for some strawberries. Need anything while I'm there? Oh, uh, yes. Pick me a few sunflower seeds. You got it. Pop cake. <laughs> there you are. Now please don't budge. I gotta get some sunflower seeds for orange. Who 
yours. Strawberry Shortcake, you are out early today. What is all this? My latest, greatest invention. A plant food that grows very many fruits and vegetables. No more rolling apples all the way into town. Now they're just the right size for us. Mmm, very delicious too. Oh, thank you. But there's only one problem. My berry bitty harvest is uh, a bit more bountiful than I expected. Uh, whew, thank you. We've got to get these to Orange's general store before they spoil. Wait till she sees these. She'll be so excited. Uh, I'll help you, Berry Can Bloom. Thimbles, check. Thread, check. Berries and bobbins, buttons and bows. Check and check, check and check. Can I get you anything else? No, thank you, Orange. This is all I need. Alrighty then. And thank you for shopping at Orange's General Store. Where there's a place for everything and a thing for every place. Morning, Orange. Good morning, Barry Kinville. And what can I get for you today? I'll need three bolts, six nails, 12 pails, a bag of rags, a box of socks, and half a dozen wooden blocks. Got it. Oh, what kind of wood? Well, I hadn't really thought much about... I have pine, cherry, oak, mahogany, peach, apple, elm, ash, beech, hickory, ebony, cedar, poplar, maple, spruce, sycamore, teak, rosewood, rubberwood, cottonwood, walnut, and willow. Um... I'm having a special this week on willow. I'll take willow. Good choice. And will there be anything else? Got any sunflower seeds? Ooh, all out. But a fresh shipment is coming in today. Oh, Orange, I got your sunflower seeds. See? If we don't have it, we'll get it at Orange's General Store. The place where there's a place for everything and a thing for, um, every some place. Morning, Orange. Might you have room in your store for some delicious, nutritious, berry bitty fruits and vegetables fresh from my berry own bitty garden? Wow. Um, yeah, uh, sure. Of course. Bring it on. You know, this is a lot of stuff. Can I give you some help making room for it? Oh, no, 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 no. Thank you. I can make room on my own. Well, okay, but if you need any help rearranging... Don't be silly, Strawberry. Organization is my specialty. Okay, bring it in! <gasps> This is not a toy. <laughs> wow! Do you think the 
store with a thing for every place has too many things and not enough places? Looks like Orange could use our help. Every time I ask, she says she's got it under control. Psst. Do you want to see what under control looks like? control. spare time, I reorganized all my potholders, alphabetized my spices, and now I'm sketching some designs for a bedroom makeover. Orange has got to be swamped. Too bad she won't let us help her. I know. I think she's sensitive about accepting help. She feels it's like admitting she failed. Did she ever come by for breakfast? Nope. I finally had to give away the stack of waffles I'd saved for her. <laughs> At least they didn't go to waste. Poor Orange, she's got to be hungry. It's almost lunchtime. I'm bringing her a sandwich. Least I can do. See you, Lemon. Okay, later. Galloping gooseberries. Radishes and rutabagas. Who wanted the radishes and rutabagas? Hey, you know what? Who asked for tomatoes, potatoes, turnips, and... Excuse me. Um, pardon me. Beg your pardon. Oh, excuse me. Wow, is business ever booming? I brought you a sandwich. Thanks, but I can't take a lunch break just now. Papayas and peaches! Who ordered the papayas and... Right here, right here, right here! Just a bit busy. <laughs> wow, you really worked out a great system here. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Those are for produce only. 
only. creative experience, nothing beats painting in a watercoloring book. <laughs> Extraordinary talent! You may want to enroll him in an advanced painting class. She'll get upset. Oh, that's just silly. Helping each other is what friends are for. And I have plenty of spare time today. Look how pretty all the vegetables look in these crates. Well, she's got it into her head that the mess came from her store. And if she doesn't clean it herself, we'll think she isn't good at running her store. It's not her fault. There isn't enough room for all this stuff in her store. Yeah, what you'd need is a whole other store. Hmm. I smell something. Uh, mangoes? No, an idea. Huh. Hi, Orange. Be right with you. Almost done here. Everything under control. Good, because I desperately need your help with something. What is it, Strawberry? What do you need? Um, it's kind of personal. Do you have five minutes for a cup of tea at the cafe? Um, well, sure, I guess. Um, I'll just close up for a few minutes. Great. Don't worry, I'll have you back in a flash. <laughs> There. Back in a flash. So, I was saying, I need to ask you a favor. Anything? Well, I have this dream of... Custard? No! I said, that's not a toy! This... this dream of opening a side business. Yeah? Oh, how fun! Well, what kind of business? Well, that's the trouble. I have nothing to sell. Hmm... So that's where you come in. I was hoping you wouldn't mind if I sold Berry Can Bloom's next Berry Bitty Harvest in a... sort of a... 
produce marketplace. But only if you'd be willing to part with it. A marketplace? What a great idea! <laughs> Wait a minute. Are you doing this for me? Well, I'm, I'm doing it mostly because it would be fun for me. And fun for me, too. Not to have to run my store and sell all those fruits and veggies. I don't know why I didn't let you help me before. I'm so wiped out. Do you think the girls would mind helping me get my store cleaned up? Done! Oh, you are all so sweet. Thank you. You always help us, Orange. Why wouldn't we help you? Well, we all need to help Strawberry. Because she's opening up a new marketplace. We're on it. <laughs> well, looks great, everyone. I think that's enough for one day. I can take it from here. Thank you so much for helping me get started. You're welcome. Sure, no anytime. Strawberry. Goodbye. See you tomorrow, Strawberry. Emergency! What is it, Berry Can Bloom? It's my new plant food that shrinks the fruits and veggies to our size. It also shrinks the time from seed to harvest. I've got a new crop coming in only two weeks. Oh, no! This marketplace has to be built in half the time. Girls, come back. for Barrican Bruce. Oh, he's on a break. We'll take it. Oh, great, thanks. Oh, oh please, <laughs> Wow, it's from Barry Big City Motor Parts. Oh, bouncing berries. This is what the boss has been waiting for. The new hydraulic juicer rinser for Cherry Jam's tour bus. Oh, oh what's great on there? <laughs> Get to work. We'll have cherry jam on our way home before you can say goodbye. this hoopla dies down. I'd like to talk to you about your absolutely fabulous fashions. Wow. <gasps> yep. <laughs> Here's your card. Raspberry, that's great. <gasps> yes. Wow. Yeah. What'd she say when you called her? Uh, well, uh, I haven't called her. What? <gasps> Why not? Because I'm so scared, excited, nervous. I, because what if 
it's... if it's not... What if she says... Who? Raspberry? The dog trainer? Oh, dress designer. Ah, yes, it's all coming back to me now. The glitter gown. Well, darling, are you sitting down? Because, congratulations, we're hiring you to make 6,000 dresses for the annual Very Big City Firefly Convention. <laughs> that you don't know that's what would happen and you won't know till you call yeah well maybe later i can wait well we can't but our our game <laughs> the game can wait she might make you a fashion star think of the fame the fortune <gasps> the fans oh uh hello yes this is a raspberry tort, and I... You have? Really? Oh, you do? Me? Yes! Uh, well, I guess... Yes! <gasps> well, tell us! What? Oh, she... Uh, they want me to come to Berry Big City immediate... Right away, and talk about... Yes? Yes? Starting a new line of raspberry glitter. You know, glitter gowns. <laughs> Cherry, you have to help me. Tell me what to wear and what do I say and how do I act and... Oh, very big city. You don't need any help from me, Raspberry. Just be yourself. Come on, we've got to get you packed. Oh, come yeah. on. Now let's... Uh, Miss Jam? Oh, hello, Barrykin Bruce. Came to give my apologies. I'm afraid your part still hasn't arrived. Part? What part? Uh, the hydraulic juicer rinser for your tour bus? Oh, oh, yeah, of course. No problem. Oh, well, thank you for being so understanding, Miss Jam. I know how anxious you must be to get back home to Barry Big City and get your tour underway. Tour? Oh, yeah. Ah, <laughs> uh, don't worry. I'm in no hurry. Oh, don't worry. I'm in no hurry. She's so nice. I'll get to the bottom of this. Yes, hello? Very Big City Motor Parts? I'd like to speak with the manager, please. Strawberry, which one's dressy enough for Berry Big City? Uh, we should ask Cherry. She'd know. Oh, uh, that's okay. Don't want to bother her. Hmm, what's wrong? Strawberry, do you think Cherry doesn't want me to go? Did she say that to you? No, but she doesn't seem so excited for me. I just don't know. You're right. You don't know, and you won't know until you ask her. Yeah. Okay, pretty pink or very merry magenta? Uh... <laughs> Both. Better to be prepared. Good luck! Wow, well, Raspberry! Have fun! I made you some hair scents for the trip. Good luck, Raspberry. Oh, thank you, Lemon. Did you talk to Cherry? Uh, I will, yep. Good. Good luck! Have a great time, Raspberry. Oh, thanks, Cherry. I just, um, I, I wanted to ask you... Do you know which hair scent you think's best for Berry Big City? You're the fashion expert! <laughs> Goodbye, everybody! We'll see you in a few days! <laughs> Crumbs. Nice <laughs> shot, Blueberry. Plum's turn. Fumbling.
and poison berries. <laughs> I ripped my dress. <laughs> <laughs> Raspberry will sew that up in... Oh, that's right. She's not here. Ah! <laughs> it's an email from Raspberry. Listen to this. I can't believe what's happening. They're giving me... My own design studio? <gasps> My own staff? <gasps> I'm coming back tomorrow to pack up the boutique. They want me to move here. <gasps> move there? <laughs> uh, well, I didn't think she'd be moving away. Well, it's probably just for a while. I know. Let's bake some treats for a surprise celebration for her. You mean a send-off? Strawberry's right. Let's not show her how much we'll miss her, just how happy we are for her. Let's get started. Make way for the future fashion star of Berry Big City, the fabulous Raspberry. She eats up the fashion scene. Oh dear, I think we got off on the wrong stop. Uh, no, uh, this is it. <laughs> My home sweet home. You mean your old home. Girls, girls, look! It's Mavis Maraschino from the Fashion Further Forward show. She's doing a segment on me and my fashions. Oh, wonderful, Can't wait to see that show. What a... Welcome to Berry Bitty City, Mavis. That's Miss Maraschino to you, dearie. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought you'd remember me from that time you interviewed me. I'm Cherry Jam. <gasps> Blad Scarlet Cummerbunds! Oh, Cherry, what have they done to you? Honey, I can get you a limousine straight to Salon de Vol. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm just taking a little vacation here with my friends and... They're holding you prisoner, aren't they? Oh, did they take your clothes? My lawyer can... Miss Maraschino. Mavis, doll, Mavis, please. Mavis, I'm quite happy here and I am choosing to be here. Oh, well, you just say the word and my people are at your service. In fact, I've been dying to get you on my show. Now, where's my little protege? To your best hotel! Oh, excuse me, girls. Gotta go! <laughs> Bye. Um, what was that? If you find out, don't tell me. I don't think I want to know. Pinched, pleated Paisley, you poor dear. However did you survive in such primitive working conditions? Ba -ba -da. Do yourself a favor, my cashmere kitten. Leave it all behind, especially that. But... but this is my very first sewing machine. It's always been with me. A dinosaur, my soon-to-be superstar. Let it go. Fashion forward means forward, not backwards. Mavis feels need for major manicure. There wouldn't be such a thing as a beauty salon in this outpost, would there? Why, yes, there would. We'll be right over for an appointment. Now, shoo, shoo, shoo. Ra, 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 raspberry is on a busy schedule. Raspberry, we're having a little party at the cafe tonight. Oh, uh, I mean, <laughs> okay, yeah, uh, I'll be there. Oh, no, 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 Miss Meringue. That's so last century. Oh, oh no. Oh, no, dear. You're thinking too small. R -r 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 Raspberry is not just a designer of fashions. She's a monument to fashions. Uh, no, 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 no. She's a winter, not an autumn. I want her studio painted winterberry rose, not fall mauve. They want to speak to you, dear. Hello? Uh, sure. <laughs> Whatever she said. <laughs> Don't mouse your nails. From head to foot, everything about her has to... Roar. Every shape, every color must roar fashion. Uh, wait. Ooh. And what do you call this? 
Blackberry Seed Facial Mask. We wanted Blackberry Seed and Guava. I am out of Guava. No Guava? guava? Berry Big City salons are never without it. And never without the snootiest stylists. Oh, but Cherry, dear, they're the most famous, most highly sought after. Maybe that's why they never make friends with you, like Lemon does. This will never do. Don't worry, dear, Mavis is here. We'll have it all redone when you get home to Berry Big City. Strawberry. Cherry keeps saying what she doesn't like about Berry Big City. Now, you listen to Mavis. That's just what stars do. She's afraid of competition, so she's trying to convince you not to go. You mean, she's jealous of me? Uh, Raspberry, maybe you should ask Cherry? This is a bittersweet goodbye. Tears and smiles at the same time We know you gotta go and live your dream We've been together for so long You not here will feel so wrong But time goes on and we have our memories Without you, the sun won't shine as bright. Without you, things won't seem just right. We'll be so blue when you moved away. Without you, nothing will be the same. Without you, we won't feel complete. Without you, said she needs her beauty sleep. She forgot us? The raspberry I know would never accept an invitation and not show up. And I miss the raspberry I know. Cherry, is there any reason you wouldn't be happy for raspberry? Yes, there is. I mean, we're all going to miss her, but this is her chance to be a star. When you're a star, sometimes it's hard to be yourself. Raspberry isn't acting like herself, and the raspberry we knew was happier. So you're not jealous of Raspberry? Oh, no! <laughs> I'm worried for her. You know, the stars shine much brighter here than in Berry Big City. <laughs> Oh, not this cafe again. However did you survive with just one restaurant? Oh, uh, I, uh, I guess Strawberry's just such an incredibly inventive cook. We just never got bored. What's going on? Excuse me. Uh, hiya, Raspberry. Hi, uh, do you know where Strawberry is? Oh, Rice. <laughs> That's where we're going. <gasps> 
can't believe they didn't remind me. Come on, Mavis. I can't miss it. It's my very favorite event. Boats? Uh, wait, if it's boats you want, I'll sign you up at the Berry Big City Yacht Club. <laughs> Raspberry, glad you're here. Hi, Cherry. Why aren't you racing? It didn't feel right taking your boat out without you. Oh, I wasn't sure if you wanted me here. After last night's party, we weren't sure if you wanted to come. The party? Oh, oh I... Oh, no. Oh, don't worry yourself, kitten. Who wants to go to a dismal hoedown anyway? Well, I would. Oh, it's so not you, Button. Actually, it was a surprise going away party for you. Really? Jump in. Can we be a team? Sure. Hey, come on, Mavis. We can catch up. Bitter button hooks. You're not serious. Us in that? <laughs> She's my champion boat. Come on, get in. It'll be so fun. I am not getting in that bucket. This is not you. Mavis, watch out! <laughs> Look at me! <laughs> <laughs> Mavis, I think that look is you. <laughs> How could you do this to Mavis, Maraschino? I have nothing prepared for my next show. That was kind of you to lend Mavis your tour bus, Cherry. It was kind of you to throw her this going away party. Oh, it's not a going away party for Mavis. It's a staying home party for both of you. Are you sure you want to give up everything in Berry Big City? Nothing there can make me feel like a star the way my very best friends do. The way you do, Cherry. I'm sorry I thought you were jealous of me. I wasn't being kind, wasn't being me. I'm glad the real me is back. Welcome home. But I must admit, I'm not sure what a Berry Fest princess does. You've got to judge the flower show. Oh, Don't forget the honey day. Oh, I have to judge a flower show? I'll be sure not to forget the honey. Got it. You like the carrot? And twirl the Berry Fest princess baton. Really? I have to twirl the Berry Fest princess baton? I'd better practice. Love the buffet. Right, the buffet. Apple the cobbler. Cobbler? And ask the flip. Uh, Blurkles! Get all the wings! Spaghetti! Oh, oh, the oh, oh, Before, oh, after... What is <gasps> I'm sorry, but I still don't know what my duties are. It's quite simple, actually. Princess Berry King's Bitty Book of Berry Fest Princess Duty says, the princess shall preside over the festivities of Berry Fest. Especially the parade must be the very best. What does that mean exactly? It means you're responsible for getting everything ready. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. Uh, wait, please. This is a great honor, but I'm not sure I know how to put on a parade. Oh, of course. How silly of me. Here's the things to do list. Thank you. This doesn't look so bad. <gasps> oh, galloping grape leaves. a lot to do, Custard. Oh, how am I going to get it all done? Hmm, what would a leader do? I know. She would give tasks to the members of her team. But who's my team? <laughs> my friends, of course. And you know, Custard, they've already said they want to help me. Now, all I have to do is assign some of these tasks. 
Hello, Blueberry. Hi, Lemon. Oh, Plum, my friend. Would you be able to help me with the parade, please, Orange? Raspberry, could you please help me with something? We'd love to! No, oh, I knew they'd help me. See you later, Custard! <laughs> I'm on my way to plan the buffet, but I thought I'd stop by to see how the garland is. Huh? What are you doing? I'm sorting these nut pieces for the squirrels. The real nuts got mixed in with the metal nuts. I want everything in my store organized so I can focus on making the garland like you asked. Maybe sorting nuts should wait till after the parade. I'd be happy to help you then. When the box said mixed nuts, <laughs> they weren't kidding. And just when I have so much work on my hands. You know, that garland is very important to the parade. <gasps> oh no, look at the time. Uh, I'm late to pick up the petals from the garlands. Um, Strawberry, could you watch my store for just a few minutes? Uh, sure, Orange. Go ahead. Oh, and if you're bored, feel free to sort the nuts. Ah, oh, well. Hi, Strawberry. Uh, where's Orange? Oh, she just ran off on an errand. Say, am I glad to see you, Plum. Have you finished the Berry Can Dance for after the parade? Not yet, but I've decided that Orange and I should perform the Berry Bitty Bunny Hop during the parade. But the Berrykins have to... Since Orange isn't here, I need you to try out some steps with me. <laughs> I'd love to help them, but I'm actually in the middle of a sorting project for Orange. Oh, that's okay. You can keep sorting while you hop. Come on, Strawberry! <laughs> as soon as I finish these wonderful wings for the butterfly float. 
Oh, at last, someone is helping me. Thank you. Hi, Strawberry. Hi, Raspberry. Oh, <laughs> hi, Lemon. Say, Lemon, could I please hear the music you picked for the parade? That's what I came to talk to you about. Wow, is that the butterfly wing I'll be standing next to? Sure is. You want to hold it? Of course. Um... <laughs> See? A perfect match. <laughs> <laughs> that looks great, girls. But could we please focus on our parade tasks? Say, do you know what'll really make this wing spectacular? Rhinestones! I've got a rhinestone fastener at home. I'll just add some sparkles to this, and it'll be much more springtime paradier. Oh, but wait, the wings are supposed to look exactly the same. I'm sorry Lemon decided to change your design. Oh, no, no, no. She's so right. They should be sparklier. Hey, you know, I'm gonna add a little bit of glitter glue to my wing, too. <laughs> or maybe a lot. Yes, sparkles would be nice. But don't we have more important things to do right now, Raspberry? Like for the parade? <laughs> oh, no, but making the wings more sparkly. Sparkly is helping the parade. <laughs> right. Then maybe you and Lemon could decorate the wings together. You know, help each other. Speed things up. <laughs> well, since you're here, you could help me. <laughs> you know, speed things up. I apologize, Raspberry, but I just can't right now. I have a dozen unfinished things to do. Thanks for all your hard work on the float. Gotta go! Bye! I've tried to be a good leader, Custard, but things haven't gone well. I assigned tasks to my friends and then followed up with them and motivated them, but somehow nothing got finished, Custard. Custard? <laughs> That's exactly right. You got distracted by something, and so did my friends. It's easy to do. I just wish they could be more helpful to each other. It seems like everybody is so stressed. And I don't know how I'm supposed to do each and everything on this list, right down to the last task. Huh? What's this, Custer? Oh, did you find something? Oh, it's the very last task. Oh no, not another one. It says, I wrote this so fast, I put this task last. But it's rule number one, make the parade fun. <laughs> Everyone knows that. No, wait, that's what I'm doing wrong. I've assigned so many tasks that no one is having fun. Hmm, maybe I'm expecting too much of everyone. From now on, I'll just have to work harder. Baton twirling. Mm, yep. Mm, working on it. <laughs> Strawberry. Huh? I know it's getting late, but this is all the garland I've gotten done so far. Oh, that's fine, Orange. Don't worry. Leave this here and I'll take care of the rest. Thank you very much. Oh, and Orange, keep smiling. Uh, okay. <sighs> Look, Strawberry, I've changed the parade route again. I like this one much better. <laughs> what do you think? Oh, just one second, Blueberry. Uh... <gasps> Wait, these posts are in the wrong place. That's the old route. This is the new route. If I'd gotten your map sooner, Blueberry, we could have changed things. But no time now. We'll have to go with your own route. But I did this one in ink. Oh, don't be upset. I'll try and move the posts. I want you to be happy. Hey, Blueberry, check out my bunny hop. I made it way better. That's the fifth time you've made it better, Plum. Hey, Strawberry, 
Which huh? of our wings looks prettier? <laughs> Girls, this is a parade, not a competition. It's supposed to be fun. <laughs> they both look fine. See? She likes mine best. Uh-uh. Not in a billion trillion years. Oh, oh. Look, strawberry. I had to make more garland because blueberry tells me the parade route is now longer. <laughs> what are we supposed to decorate with that? A shoebox? At least I'm doing something useful. Um, can somebody help me, please? Dancing is useful, not when it's too hard to do. I can't possibly learn your new double hoppity in time. It isn't my fault that Lemon took so long choosing the music. Hey, you're hopping on my map! Huh? Whoa. Ow! Would you mind keeping that thing out of my face? Yours is a monstrosity. My map is ruined! Hopping is silly! You're lucky all you have to do is garland. Oh, no! This is no fun. So yeah! Somebody? I gave them so much work, they've forgotten how to be nice to one another. Well, at least one of them has come back to help me. Strawberry, I'm not good with the needle and thread, and this needs some beef. I'll be back in ten minutes to pick it up. Gotta go. So behind on the music. <gasps> Galloping gooseberries! <gasps> No princess. She can't be found. <laughs> Have you seen Strawberry? No, but I found her baton in the cafe. She's not in any of the shops. And we've looked everywhere. What if she quit? Why would anyone give up being the very best princess? Well, she did mention having a lot of tasks. Well, I did my task. <sighs> uh, sorta. Yeah, I kind of let her down too, I guess. She asked me to do just one little thing, and I just kept asking her to help me. And I didn't even say please. Girls, I think we all got so wrapped up in our little projects and what we needed that we didn't even pay attention to what Strawberry needed. <laughs> no wonder she took off. If I was her, I'd quit too. I was so selfish. She kept asking us to help each other, and instead we were just rude to each other. I was mean. And she only asked us to do one little thing. And I messed it up with my rhinestones. No, no. It was all me with my silly glitter. Trying to have the best wing. Why didn't we just help each other out like she asked? <laughs> Here, please take my hanky. Thank you. We're all to blame. And after Strawberry worked so hard. What a great leader. Never complained. Always polite. Heart of gold. And she cared so much about us having fun. And now she's left. Can someone help me down? I can still hear her pleading voice in my memory. Please? Wait! That voice is real! Look! Up there! Oh. Hey! Over here! Whoa. We've just got to save her! Come on, everyone!
<laughs> uh, what's so funny, Strawberry? Uh, I'll tell you when we get down. up there, Strawberry. <laughs> well, high on that branch, I watched you all march here to my rescue. <laughs> I wish you could have seen it. Marching and singing and <laughs> carrying garlands. It looked like a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. Once we worked together and were nice to each other. Girls, I was worried for a minute we wouldn't have a parade. But you just gave me the best parade ever. We did? We did! <laughs> no, no. Let's be clear about this. Strawberry, it was you who made this parade happen. You never gave up, even when no one was helpful. And we all thank you from the very bottom of our hearts. Oh, you're making me feel like a real princess. Important. Very important. It's a birthday card to a friend of mine. Oh, I hope I'm mailing it in time. When's the birthday? Next week. Oh, it'll get there in plenty of time. Another letter! Bless you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I'm afraid I've come down with a case of bumbly, wheezy, sneezy fever. <laughs> oh dear, that's too bad. Well, I think you'd better go home until you feel better. I think that's a very good idea. Idea? Yeah, 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 but. <laughs> I did. Yeah, 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 but. <laughs> Bless you! Thank you. <laughs> Quick! Turn him around! Yeah! <laughs> Now, how am I going to get the mail delivered today? Is there a problem, Postmaster? 
Well, the problem is, all my delivery bees are on vacation, which wouldn't be a problem, because they still have one left. Well, the problem is... <laughs> he's it. Oh. So, now the only one left to get the mail delivered is me. Oh, dear. But well, even that wouldn't be a problem. I can deliver the mail to Barry Betty City myself, but... But not this. What's that? Special delivery for Clement Cricket. Clear out in Acorn Acres. <laughs> Label says it's for his birthday. When's his birthday? Today. Today? <laughs> ah! Oh, no. <laughs> Here, J.D. Bug, let me help you. No, no. You should be delivering the mail. Well, I, I guess you're right. <sighs> Poor Clem. Looks like his birthday present will be late. But we can only do our very best. Wait! What if I helped you? Deliver this package, I mean. Well, that's mighty kind of you, Miss Shortcake, but all the way to Acorn Acres is not exactly a hop, skip, and a jump, you know. Yeah, it's across the bridge way on the other side of the river. I have a scooter. I'm sure I can get it there in time. And I have the day off from the cafe, so I am at your service. <laughs> well, now, that's about the nicest thing I've heard in quite a while. Are you sure you want to give it a try? Very sure. All righty, then. <clears throat> Raise your right hand, please. Repeat after me. I, strawberry shortcake. I, strawberry shortcake. Through snow, rain, heat, or very gloomy night. Through snow, rain, heat, or very gloomy night. Do promise to do my very best to deliver the mail on time. Do promise to do my very best to deliver the mail on time. <sighs> You are now an official delivery person of the Barry Bitty City Post Office. <laughs> Strawberry! That looks great on you! Thanks, Orange! Thank you, Strawberry. This means a lot to me in the post office, and I expect to Mr. Cricket. <laughs> J.D. Bug will stamp the package and get you on your way. Okay, Jeannie Bug? No! Here, let me... <laughs> no, no, you should be delivering the mail. Well, I, I, I guess you're right. Here, I can help. Why, why, thank you, Miss Shortcake. Anybody home? Right there, Plum! Well, if you can stamp this package, I'll be on my way. Oh! <laughs> right. Stamps. 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 Go! Oh! <laughs> that was me. Stamps. 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 Aha! There! Do not open till Christmas? Oh, absolutely. It'd be cheating. Huh? But it's his birthday. Oops. Fragile? Put this end up. <laughs> Return to sender? Oh! Special delivery! Wait! How about a nice... Don't drop this package! Oh! Oh! Here's a... Sorry! Doesn't live here anymore! Huh. I've been looking for that one for months. No, thank you. Well, congratulations to our new postal carrier. Orange told me all about it. Hi, Plum. Love the hat. Do you get to keep it? No, just helping out for the day. <laughs> Hiya, Pupcake. Take good care of this package, okay? It's got to go all the way to Acorn Acres. <laughs> Acorn Acres? Way out there? Oh, can you make it in one day? Oh, it's still morning. Plenty of time. Uh, wait! Uh, who's taking care of your cafe? Mr. Longface. He's teaching a cake decorating class. Psst, strawberry. Lemon? What is it? I've got a problem. 
Cupcake, you better wait here. Take care of the package, okay? <laughs> Lemon, are you okay? Uh, uh, sure, sure. What is it? Something's wrong, isn't it? Here, there's a great article on two-tone toenail polish. I would like to see how my hair looks. Oh, hold on. I used a new hair mousse, and it's not exactly working out. I'm scared she's gonna... Oh, I don't want to think what she'll do when she sees. It's too terrible to... Let me see. Okay, but please keep your cool. As always. Yeah, okay, come on. Oh, it's coming along nicely. Wow, that's a... a hairstyle, all right. Now can I? Not yet. Lemon. I've got to deliver a package for the postmaster. I'd love to stay, but... Oh, no, 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 no. You can't leave me. Please, Strawberry. Please think of something. I don't know what to do. I'd like to keep Blueberry as my friend, but when she finds out, she's gonna... Oh, and then she'll... Oh, ouch. Okay, where's the bottle? Hmm. You know, I had a cake recipe that kept coming out just like that. Too hard, so I added pudding to the mix. Pudding. Try washing her hair with some vanilla pudding, then rinse it, then add stay in conditioner with a little, um, avocado oil. That should smooth it all down. Hmm, you think? Worth a try. And don't worry, Blueberry always comes around. <sighs> Thanks, Strawberry. You calmed me down. I was just so flustered I couldn't think. <laughs> You're very welcome. Very Bitty City Post Office. We do the very best we can. J.D. Bug speaking. <gasps> oh, no. Uh, yes, sir. I'll tell her right away. Has Strawberry gone yet? Yeah. Uh, why? The postmaster just heard at the storm we had the other night. It blocked the road to Acorn Acres. She won't be able to get through. <gasps> oh, no! the road, it'd take us too long. Oh, I think the only thing to do is keep going without the scooter. to Rosevale, Brookville, um, and that must be the way to Acorn Acres. Great. <sighs> now which way should I go? Uh, I keep telling them they 
need you to fix this huh? thing. But do they listen? Because you didn't ask nice. What do you know about nice? Uh, nice is my middle name. Uh, no, it um, isn't. Excuse uh -huh. me. Yes. Um, is not. Okay, what is my middle name then? Ladybird. <laughs> Your name's Ladybug, Ladybird, Fairy Beetle. <gasps> How did you know that? Um, girls? Because maybe I've known you all your life and I'm your twin sister. My luck. If someone had asked me, I would have picked a different twin sister. Me too. Or, or, or I'd pick triplets. But none of them would have been you. <gasps> uh, hello? Well, don't just stand there. We need your help. You certainly aren't talking to me. Are you? We most very certainly are. Certainly for certain. Oh, well, what can I help you with? Can't you see? Sorry, but, um, you're gonna have to tell me. Let's make her guess. Silly, stop fooling around. This is serious. Well, I have a serious, uh, thing too. And, oh, can you tell me how to get to Acorn Acres? <gasps> Grew uh, away? And we're really hungry. <laughs> I'm hungrier. I said it first. Uh, doesn't mean you were hungrier first. Girls, please, please explain. How did your picnic grow away? Well, we were looking for a place to have our picnic. And I had some great ideas, but she wouldn't listen. Because my ideas were best. And while you were uh, discussing, the flower grew up where you left your picnic things? And now our picnic is up there! And we're down here! And I'm hungry. I'm hungrier. I am. Come on! We better get your things before they grow away any further. No way! You're gonna help us? Of course! But we need to be quick. That is so nice of you! Almost there. Steady, steady. Now lower. Watch out, Pupcake. <sighs> there. Oh. Hey, that's mine. Nuh uh. I made it. You made it for me? Okay, then what did you make for me? Don't spill that! <laughs> I can't open this. Give it to me, then. With your shaky hands? <laughs> I think not. <sighs> Come on, Pupcake. I guess the only thing we can do is try one of these roads. Where are you going? Yeah, don't you want to join us? It's a picnic for two, but you could share some of hers. Oh, thank you. But I have to deliver a package to Clem Cricket. If only I knew how to get there. Oh, right! It's his birthday! Yup. Too bad he didn't have a party. Maybe he didn't invite us. Why would someone not invite me? How did you know it was his birthday? He's a friend of ours. Yep. Lives right up the road, right up there. This road? Uh, no. That one. Mm, that one. That way, to the river. Oh, yeah! You're right. I am? Yep. Just follow it to the river, go across the bridge, over the next hill, and you'll be right there. Oh, thank you! Anytime! Sure thing! Hear that, Pupcake? <gasps> it sounds like a river! Look, Pupcake! The bridge! Come on! On the other side is Acorn Acres. We're almost there. Oh, we're gonna make it in time. Woo! Here, cupcake, pull it up. That was close. Getting across.
Did your delivery go on Acorn Acres? I couldn't get there. The road was blocked. The bridge was out. Oh, Strawberry. Listen, I have to go tell the postmaster what happened. Okay. Is there anything I can do to help? I wish there was. I just... don't know what it would be. Hey, your hair looks really nice. Your idea really worked. Thank you. And the avocado oil? My hair's never been so shiny. I love it. <laughs> I'm glad. What a day! Not everything got delivered. I'm sorry to say, not everything. I'm very sorry. I tried. I got as far as the bridge, but it was out. Yeah, I'd heard about it after you'd gone. Too late to stop you, I'm afraid. It's quite a thing you did getting that far. But I didn't deliver the package. The mail didn't get through. Oh, and I promised it would. Actually, you promised to do the very best that you could. And you did that. You see, there are times when things happen that are out of our control. The only thing we can do is the best we can. I'll call the post office in Big Bitty City. See if we can bring in some help. Maybe take the back road through Oak Tree Meadows and get to Acorn Acres that way. Will they get here in time? Well, we can only do our very best. I just wish I could have delivered it. Maybe you still can, Strawberry. What's all this? I, um, sort of spread the word that you needed help. You always help us when we need it. So we decided to help you. Here in Very Bitty City, we always try to help each other get the job done. We all put our heads together and came up with an idea to help you deliver the package. Oh, thank you, everyone. What idea? <laughs> Cupcake? <laughs> Cupcake, where are you? <clears throat> huh? <laughs> Do you need a bridge now? I think this is perfect. Thank you, everybody. Da -da. <laughs> Miss Shortcake. Oh. <laughs> Ready. <laughs> Hang on, Pupcake. <laughs> Delivery for Clem Cricket. <laughs> Why, it's me. This is for you. And happy birthday. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. For the mail. What? Marketplace all closed up? Yep, I did all the stuff you asked. Great, thank you. Guess we're all set to go as soon as the girls get here. Oh, I'm so excited to show you and Sweet and Sour how beautiful our countryside is. Your guys' first Berry Bitty City annual camp out. Uh, Strop, I think I've been on a few campouts in my day. <laughs> I know you have, Apple, but this is your first one with me. And that's very special to me. Oh, yeah, me too. What you got there? This is the perfect opportunity for me to film a camping video. I'm going to set up a link on my very best bits page. So, like a travel log? My night in the wilderness? Mm, not exactly. More like Apple's step-by-step -step guide on how to set up camp the right and proper Apple way. 
Sounds like a big project. No task is too big when it comes to teaching the world the science of camping in the outdoors. Sounds great, but you know, this camp out is for fun and friends, not work. So I hope you won't be too busy to have fun, too. Sour! Sweet! Are you ready? Hi, Apple. Where is everyone? I don't know if this great outdoors thing is gonna be so great. Sour, we haven't even left yet. That's the best time to rethink going somewhere. That's a sweet camera, Apple. <laughs> sweet, get it? <laughs> <laughs> that does look pretty pro. Shooting a big movie? Camping tutorial. Oh, wow, great idea. A movie all about us? Oh, a video of our camp out? Uh, no, actually, none of you are in it, just me. I'm gonna demonstrate in high definition, stop motion, time lapse photography how to set up a camp, the fine points of how to properly pitch a tent, the do's and don'ts of unrolling a sleeping bag, how to avoid the heartbreak of a cold cook stove, two hours packed with vital information every camper needs to know. Oh. Uh Two hours? And an extra half hour of exclusive bonus material. Camping tutorial, the making of. I need a cloth to clean this with. Do you have one, Strop? Sure, in the kitchen. Are we ever going? Somewhere out there is a poison ivy plant with my name on it. We're coming! Huh? Wait for us! <sighs> Sorry, we're late, Strawberry. Whew. Almost forgot the supplies Sweet asked for. No worries. So, Orange, you got marshmallows? Check. Cherry's got them in her pack. Girls, I'm so excited to make you my special s'more than s'mores recipe. It's regular s'mores, you know, graham crackers, marshmallows, and chocolate bar, with my unique twist, strawberry slices and shaved almond. Yum, says Plum. Neat, says Sweet. <laughs> Oh, nuts, says Orange. Uh, that doesn't rhyme. No, no, the almond! I think I left it on the counter in my store. I'll go with you. And chocolate milk! You can't have a campfire without hot chocolate! Plum's got it in her canteen! Perfect. We'll heat it up on our campfire, and then you all know what's next. <laughs> <laughs> what? What's next? We put the fire out? <sighs> it's one of our long-standing camp-out traditions. Tall tales. Tall tales? Yeah, we make up fun stories, like tales, like make-believe, and tell them around the campfire. Everyone gets a turn. The wilder, more outrageous, the better. Sounds outrageously thrilling. How about short tales, so we can get home sooner? <laughs> You're too funny, Sour. All ready. Are we good? <sighs> oh, my God. It. We're all set. Let's do it. up with her. You do that. I'm gonna take a little break. <sighs> Have a good break, good Cherry. Idea. Enjoy your rest, Cherry. <sighs> now that looks like the best idea I've seen all day. Phew. You said it. Uh, guys? 
That isn't the chocolate milk for the hot chocolate around the campfire tonight, is it? Uh, and isn't that almond supposed to be for sweet special s'more than s'mores recipe? Uh, well, but n no one's gonna miss just one little sip. No one's gonna miss one little nibble. Well, then I'm having a marshmallow. No one will miss just one, right? <sighs> We're here. About time. Very beautiful meadow, our old campground. What a gorgeous spot. Huh? Apple, wow, you're really going to town. The first part of assembling a tent is to lay out all your equipment in a neat and orderly manner. I'm so sorry, but this is the spot where we usually build the campfire. It is? And we set up all our sleeping bags just over there. And our cooking equipment here, near the campfire. Can I help you move your... set over to the edge of the meadow? That's okay, Strawberry. I want to keep it in a certain order, so I'll do it myself. You guys go ahead. Don't mind me. in the very bitty world has happened to Orange, Cherry, and Plum. Maybe they got smart and went home. Sour. So, where's the marshmallows? I've got my stick. Let's get roasting. That's for after dinner. And we can't start dinner until we find the other girls. I'll go back down the trail and look for them, Strawberry. Thanks, sweet. I'll come with you. <gasps> Cherry! Plum! Orange! Where have you been? Are you all right? So sorry, Strawberry. A long story. You wouldn't even believe it. Try me. Well, I was just taking a little rest stop with Orange and Plum, just minding our own business, not bothering us all, when all of a sudden... <gasps> Marshmallows. But suddenly, Orange ran out of tree. Plum and I had to think fast. She stuck a perfect ten landing. <laughs> How did you ever get the backpack back? Oh, yeah, we uh, made a trade with the bird. Orange's almond for my backpack. You mean there's not going to be any shaved almonds for my s'more than s'mores? Come on, is that what really made you late? No, it's not. <gasps> Cherry's just trying to cover up for me. The truth is, it was all my fault. It was the canteen of chocolate milk. <laughs> Like she said, we was about halfway up the trace, resting her dogs for a spell. Hey now, Plum, ain't that for strawberries, hot chocolate? We're meant to save that for around the campfire. Ah, oh, dang nabbit, y'all are right. Must be off my rocker. Then I up and recollected I'd been hankering to show the gals a new dance routine I'd been working on. Now, looky here. Might come in handy next time we're high stepping at a square dance. <gasps> Sizzling sassafras! Oh, blusteration. It went down a crater hole. Boy, howdy. We're in for now. That strawberry's hot chocolate. Gotta get it back. We're with you, partner. Brisk up, gals. Here goes another. 
So back up, we climb down into that fire hole. Hold your horses now. Where'd that canteen get to? By all rights, should be right here. <gasps> Well, there we was, down a hole without a coil. And then we heard something that made us wish we was anywhere but there. <gasps> hey, now, that canteen is iron, Buster. Gotta hand it over real friendly like. Wouldn't you know it, that critter was skittish as a cat in a room full of rocking chairs. Well, now the hair's in the butter. After that varmint! Easy now, boy. Easy. Keep him in the corral. Now, don't get his dander up. I'm gonna... He's on the prod, Plum. You best up lively. And I leapt up on him. Never have you seen such a catawumpus. Yeah! Ride him, Plum! Stick to your saddle! Rain him in! Giddy up, cowgirl! Woo! Well, I'm here to tell you, it was a rip-snorting ride. That vermin threw me and was about to head for the high horizon. We could see we had just as much a chance taking our loop back as catching a weasel asleep. But we made a fair shake in the end. What do you think there, partner? <laughs> <laughs> That's okay, big fella. We love you, too. <laughs> So, no almond shavings for my s'more than s'mores? <laughs> Come on. What really made you late? Okay, okay, here's the deal. Uh, it was really, uh, well, all my fault. The truth is... I put it to you, Orange. Might that be the very almond intended for sweet s'more than s'mores recipe? What? Well, indeed it is. Oh, whatever was I thinking, I shall squirrel it away, as they say, until an appropriate occasion calls forth the necessity to bring it out in the open. Eh, what? Well said, Orange. Well said. Uh -huh. <laughs> I beg your pardon? Is that polite? Cheeky fellow, eh, what? I say, fellow travellers, let's tarry no longer in this dreadful spot. Off we go. Beg pardon? I must confess, I read like the very dickens. And who wouldn't, being chivied by a fiend, set on Poloning Sweet's precious almond? I believe I have a strategy that I suspect might outwit this thieving rapscallion. Have you? Do tell. <laughs> I say, old girl, capital idea. Like our tall tales? What tall tales? Wait a minute. 
Oh, no! Sweet, you weren't there! Wasn't where? This morning at the cafe when I explained about our tradition of telling tall tales. You went with Orange and... Oh, I'm sorry. Sweet. It's something we always do for fun around the campfire. We make up outrageous stories. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I thought all those stories were real. <laughs> Nah, it's all just silly stuff. <laughs> Plum and Cherry and I will get more kindling since we were late and couldn't help set up camp. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm dying to know what really happened. What really took you so long? Oh, Strawberry, I don't know. It's, it's just too embarrassing. Come on. Well... It's like this. You see... We just stopped to take a break. Now that looks like the best idea I've seen all day. You said it. Uh, guys? That isn't the chocolate milk for the hot chocolate around the campfire tonight, is it? Uh, and isn't that almond supposed to be for sweet special s'more than s'mores recipe? Uh, well, but n no one's gonna miss just one little sip. No one's gonna miss one little nibble. Well, then I'm having a marshmallow. No one will miss just one, right? My new dance routine. Chocolate for strawberry? No marshmallows for sweets more than s'mores? I wouldn't want to be in your shoes. We better run back to my store. <laughs> Hurry! Before someone sees us! Can't find my keys! Oh, here, hold this! in the storeroom, but I tripped and knocked the door closed, and I couldn't get it opened. Hey! Get me out of here! Hold on, Plum. <gasps> we'll catch you! Here! Whoa! Oh. Oh. Let's get out of here. Got everything? Canteen. Marshmallows. Check. Where's the almond? Inside. On the counter. Locked. Keys. Inside, on the counter, next to the almond. Aww. Now what do we do? We gotta get back. It's getting late and they'll be worried. Sorry, sweet. You're gonna have to do without the almond. And so, we ran back up here as fast as we could. <laughs> That's the best tall tale ever. <laughs> But, unfortunately, it's true. <laughs> <laughs> uh.